Week 10, Day 4. Now this week we've talked about dedication. And beside dedication, remember we, we talked about each one of those nine qualities that we had already done that we'd put a simple word beside them or a couple of words. Humi uh, humility, I am third, selfless, uh, being the, uh, the, the fact of mental age, uh, hard working, no easy way out, positive mental attitude, respond, never react. All of those, discipline, regret. Dedicated, you put the words all in. And we talked about Nelson Mandela. 27 years of his life he spent in prison in order to have equal rights in South Africa for the blacks and whites to have equality in South Africa. 27 years in prison. Kim Loomis dedicated to the sport of girls basketball, shooting three-point shots in the rain with the flu after the prom, never missing one night of shooting those three-point shots. Dedicated? That's the quality of dedication. If you're going to achieve greatness in your life, you've got to achieve, improve the quality of dedication. You've got to come all in for something. Find a meaning in your life, no matter what it is. And it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's art or music or sports or your job or your family or your religion or your church or your family. It doesn't matter what it is. Develop the quality of dedication and it will infiltrate all the others. Day four. Page 64, developingcharacter.org, D-E-V-E-L-O-P-I-N-G-C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R, dot org. Curriculum is there free. Print you a copy, print as many copies as you want. Abraham Lincoln, dedicated. And this is another one of those 300 greatest leaders. I love, I absolutely love to read about Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, the sense of obligation to continue is present in all of us. A duty to strive is the duty of us all. I felt a call to that duty. Abraham Lincoln was dedicated to improving humans. He was dedicated to making life better for everyone in this country and he didn't want to die without doing what he felt was his duty. Victor Frankl said that every person should search for meaning in their life. Abraham Lincoln's was to perform a duty. Born into poverty, Lincoln was faced with defeat throughout his life. He lost eight elections. He twice failed in business and, served and suffered a nervous breakdown. Lincoln was a champion and he never gave up. Can you imagine if Abraham Lincoln lived today? He would never be elected. Think about this. 1831, Lincoln failed in business. 1832, he defeated for the legislature. 1833, second failure in business. 1836, suffered a nervous breakdown. 1838, defeated for speaker. 1840, defeated for elector. 1843, defeated for Congress. 1848, defeated for Congress. 1855, defeated for Senate. 1856, defeated for vice president. 1858, defeated for Senate. 1860, elected president. What a loser. How many times could you, can you imagine in today's times, if you lost all those elections and you were defeated in business and Lincoln had a nervous breakdown when his fiance died, 
Can you imagine anybody getting elected today with the, with the social media and the things that are going on and the rumors and the innuendo and the vetting and the depth that they go after? No, it wouldn't be possible. We would not elect Abraham Lincoln today as president. Probably the Arthur Schlesinger every year rates the presidents. And he has rated them for the last probably 40 years. And Lincoln and Washington are one and two. And they, and they alternate sometimes. But of all the presidents that we've had, there's no doubt Lincoln is in the top two and couldn't get elected today. Is that a sad commentary on the world that we live in today? You see, Lincoln was never willing to be a politician. Lincoln actually won the presidency, the presidential nomination, because in 1858, when he was defeated for the Senate, he gave away his votes in order to maintain his integrity. And there's not anybody in his party that didn't know he did it. He was dedicated to the union. He was dedicated to the people. And if it meant giving away his votes for someone else to be elected, he was willing to do it. He was not going to lose his integrity. He was dedicated to helping people. Lincoln said the path was worn and slippery. My foot slipped from under me, knocking the other out of the way, Lincoln said after losing his Senate race. But I recovered and said to myself, it's a slip and not a fall. What did he do? He responded. When he lost an election or he had a nervous breakdown or he failed in business, did he quit? No, he had a meaning in his life and he was dedicated to something. And no matter what happened, he never lost that fact that he was dedicated to performing a duty and leaving a legacy for all to follow. We would not be the United States of America if it were not for Abraham Lincoln being president. Do you hear what I said? We would be probably, and it's conjecture, but I speculate, we would probably be five different countries on this continent warring with each other constantly if it were not for Abraham Lincoln dedicated to the Union, dedicated to serving man. As Mandela was dedicated to uh, end apartheid, Lincoln was, a, was dedicated to the Union. What do you think, question number one, what do you think Lincoln was dedicated to? I just gave you the answer. The Union. He was dedicated to keeping the United States the United States. What other qualities have we discussed could dedication impact or reinforce? How about responsibility? Dedication is a compilation of probably all nine of the qualities. Purpose-driven, commitment, selfless, bang, 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 right on down the road. Humility, hardworking. It's probably a compilation of all nine of those. Dedication. Find meaning in your life and become dedicated to, become all in to something. Write it down today and write down what, you, what, what you're dedicated to. And I'll see you tomorrow.